Hello and welcome to a session of Fit Essentials Basics. My name is Shauna. I'll be taking you through our class today. Here's our disclaimer. You're about to engage in intense physical activity. Proceed with caution. Do not attempt to perform any movements or activity that may exceed your current physical capabilities. Participants with injuries, high blood pressure, chronic health conditions, recent chest pain, or that have any other condition that may limit their ability to participate should consult their physician or healthcare provider before proceeding. All right, let's go ahead and you can either start seated or if you're able to go ahead and come to standing. All right, so we're gonna put my head in the picture. Feet just underneath the hips, hands in front of the chest. Pull your shoulders back, stand nice and tall. You just go ahead and breathe and reach your arms up to overhead and relax down. That's how we're gonna start all of our sessions here. Just some consistent breathing, deep breath. Fill the lungs with air. Fantastic, and once more, breathe deep and stretch tall and all the way down fantastic let's go ahead and go one hand on the hip root your weight into your heels kind of bounce into your knees a little bit opposite hand at your shoulder mirror me here we're going to twist through the hips and gently reach across the body good back to start here and reaching across fantastic we're going to go about five times so back and reach see if you can reach just a little bit farther each time back and across, good job. And again, beautiful, last time, and then we'll switch sides. Fantastic, same thing, other side, hand on the hip, hand to the shoulder, pivot your hips as you reach across the body. Good job, pulling it in, and take your time, really reach in that in position, back and up. Breathe in and then exhale, blow the air out as you reach. Good job, last one. Fantastic, drop those arms down to the side, bring your feet in to touch. And we're gonna start to open up through the chest and cross the arms, open and step, cross the arms over, good job. Just kind of find your rhythm there, side to side, alternate which arm is crossing on top of the body. There we go. Wait, clap the hands in the front. Nice. And smile. Fantastic. <laughs> Good job. Help those happy hormones go with a nice smooth smile. All right, fantastic. From here, you're gonna mirror me again. You're gonna take your right foot, step it out in front of your body, take your, your left foot, step it back, and we're gonna be down on your heel. So kind of rock your weight back into the heel your left hand to the right shoulder. There you go. Pull that elbow down and into your body. And now you're gonna shift your hips forward and rotate. So from the front, it looks like this. I shift the hips and I rotate. Kind of look it over your right shoulder. There you go, good. Back to neutral and across. Back to neutral and across. Good. And go ahead and shake it out. And we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Place that foot forward, step the other foot back, heels rooted into the ground, your right hand to your left shoulder, hug it down and in. And now we're shifting the hips forward and rotating, trying to look over your left shoulder, back to center and shift and rotate, turn and look over that shoulder. Good job, couple more times. Squeeze your glute so that's your booty on that back leg. As you push that hip forward, try to fire this muscle right here and relax. Fantastic. Side steps again, arm swings. There we go. Adding the smile. All right, next we're gonna start to warm up the back side of our body. So we're gonna step our feet in so they're about hip width apart. My toes are pointing straight ahead. I'm gonna kind of bend, bop up and down a little bit, your knees and hips. And then we're gonna cross the hands over the chest once again. Long spine, we're gonna bow forward, sending your hips back. Very good. And then stand tall, squeeze your glutes, that's your booty. Long spine, bowing down and straight up. Good job. Let's go about three more here. We're just bowing forward enough to 
feel the back of your thighs. Those are your hamstrings and over. Fantastic. And up. Very good. This time we're going to go arms up to overhead as able, stepping side to side there. Excellent. There you go. Get some good blood flow. Start to wake up some of those happy hormones. When we move our body, it helps ourselves to feel better with our mood and increases our energy. All right, go ahead and relax those arms down to the side. From here, we're gonna shrug the shoulders up towards the ears and roll them back. Shrug up and roll back, up and back. There you go, opening through your chest. Nice. All right, very good. So last time we did those forward bows, we're gonna do that same idea. You can either cross the arms over the chest or bring the hands behind the head if you're comfortable there. And then we're gonna bend into the feet and legs once more and now bow forward, long spine and stand straight up. Good job. Tall chest here, don't let yourself round, hinging and stand, good. Couple more, over. And up, there you go. Yep, if the hands don't feel good behind the head, just go back to your shoulders. Call those I dream a genie arms and relax. Fantastic. We're gonna start to give a couple stretches for the upper body now. So stand with your feet a little bit wider or you're welcome to take a seat for this one. With a slight bend into the feet, into the knees, you're gonna raise one arm straight up in the air, best you can. And watch here, I like to put this hand here for the moment to make sure I don't start to arch. Bend that elbow, best you can, reach up, see if you can grab that elbow. And now we're gently bending to the side. Inhale to lengthen and exhale as you side bend. Breathe in and out. In and out. Fantastic, once more. Very good, go ahead and shake those arms out. And then we're gonna do the same thing on that opposite arm. So straight up, remember, don't let those ribs lift up. So keep the chest down, bend the elbow, chin in, grab that elbow and bending to the side here. Very nice, back to neutral and nice smooth shift. Beautiful, here and the side, here and the side. Fantastic. All right, very good. So from here, we're gonna go ahead, take a seat. You've got a chair around. We're gonna open up the hips a little bit more from a seated position. And if you have water nearby, great time to take a quick drink. All right, from your chair, we're gonna to come to the edge of the seat. Make sure your feet are flat on the floor so you have a nice good foundation. Sitting nice and tall, let's go ahead, push your right foot down and pull your left knee towards your left shoulder here. So if you can kind of grab that leg, pull it up and in, and now we're gonna roll the ankle around. So pivot through the ankle, up and around. Fantastic, and then same thing, other direction, twirl it around here. Very good, go ahead, put it down, same thing, other side, pull that knee up and in, and ankle rolls. These are great exercises to do if you're watching a television program or a movie. You can even kind of set a timer on your phone for every 10 to 20 minutes just to kind of move your body a little bit, just be creative. But when we're stagnant, that's when it's really hard on our body. So we wanna keep ourselves moving. All right, both feet back on the ground and now walk your feet out. So they're about hip width apart. And with the feet kind of on the ground, we're just gonna drop the knees just gently side to side. Just get some movement into the hips. Knees to one side and then knees to the other side. Call this our windshield wipers. There you go. All right, from here, make sure you're seated well. Take your left foot, you're gonna pull it up and best you can, see if you can get your left foot on the outside of your right knee. And then sitting nice and tall, you're gonna use that right knee or you can use your arms to kind of pull the leg in towards your body as if you're trying to kind of pull it towards your opposite chest. 
And I'm just kind of looking to isolate the outer part of the hip, get a little bit of a stretch there. Sit tall and breathe. There we go. And relax that foot down, same thing on the other side. Place the foot nice and firm, pull the opposite leg. So you're on your right side, kicking your right foot across the leg. Hey, Laura, welcome. Sitting tall and just kind of pulling it gently across. There we go. And this is our second time on this side. So make sure you even yourself out, just arriving here. Breathe and go ahead and relax that foot down. So with both feet firmly planted, hands on the thighs, we're just gonna kind of slide the hands down the shins, staying strong in the belly and drop your head down. Just get a gentle stretch for the back, only go down as far as it feels good to you. And now take a couple nice deep breaths, like you're trying to expand the back of the ribs. And one more there. Very good. You can use your hands on your legs, kind of push yourself back up to the top. Fantastic. All righty. So let's go ahead. Feel free if you want to grab a drink and then we're going to make our way up to standing. We're going to do a little bit of some balance work with a couple more stretches. We're going to be doing a behind the back stretch. So if you are not quite able to grab your hands behind your back, it's a good time if you have one of these TheraBands, you can grab those, or even like a scarf, a shirt, a towel, anything will help. All right, so we're gonna do some balance work to kind of warm up our bodies a little bit more before we get into our first circuit. We're gonna start with what we call the sway. So you're gonna stand tall, feet about hip width apart, you can take your arms either out to the sides or up to overhead like we're playing the YMCA game. And now when you're ready, you're going to pull up through your midline, shift your weight to one side, lifting that foot up off the ground as best you can. And then when you're ready, you'll just shift the weight back again, pulling up each time. Very good. And you're just trying to hold that balance for anywhere between like one to three seconds. If you need to put the foot back down on the ground, no problem. Just taking your time here, swaying back and forth. We're gonna go between 30 and 60 seconds. And anytime you kind of need to relax those arms down, shake them out, and then when you're ready, bringing them back up. Good, lift and hold, and shift it across. Very good, let's go about one to two each side once more. Lift, remember to squeeze the shoulder blades, it helps keep you tall. Fantastic, one more each direction. Over, up, good, over, and up. Fantastic, shake out those arms. Whew. Up and down, around and around. Very good, and now we're gonna, in between the sways, we're gonna do a little bit of some marching. So first we're gonna do a pause march. Pull up through your midline, raise one arm, <clears throat> try to raise the opposite knee at the same time. Then down and shift up and pause good down and shift up and pause nice grip those toes down as you lift the knee up of the opposite leg fantastic everything together and as you lift the knee lift the toe as well yep be patient with yourself beautiful once more each side up and across fantastic very good all right, hands out in front of the body, inner, turn them to the side, like at a diagonal. And now we're gonna open the hands, squeeze the shoulder blades, close them down, squeeze and down. Good job, three more. Add a smile as you open, down, open, close, open and relax. Turn it the other way, other direction. Anybody play Hungry Hungry Hippos back in the day? For some reason, this always reminds me of that. <laughs> yep, open and close. Good, open and close. Fantastic. And I'm kind of pushing my head forward. I don't want to do that so much. Mostly just <clears throat> opening through the chest and shoulders. There you go. Good. Shake out the arms. And we're going to go back to our sway last time through. So stand tall, shoulders back arms up and out to the sides. And then whenever you're ready, set your feet about hip width apart. Here we go, shift your weight, 
pull up and pause. And then when you're ready, other side, up and pause. Good. Shoulders are starting to burn a little bit. Remember to continue to pull them back. Fantastic. Anytime you need to drop the arms down, shake them out, then just come back in when you're ready. Very good. That's right about 30 seconds. Let's go a couple more times each side. Nice. And back. Fantastic. Last time each side. Over. Lifting up through that midline. And opposite side. Beautiful. Relax those arms down, hands on the hips. Bounce into your knees and now hip circles, nice and smooth. Take it around to one side and back. Very good. And go ahead and reverse directions when you're ready. Take them around the other way. Very good. All right, just a little bit more blood flow here. We're gonna go back to our march. Uh, this time, instead of a pause march, we're gonna punch the arm across the body. So one knee up, arm reaches across. And don't feel like you have to let, raise the knee really high, just as far as you're comfortable. Good. And I like to think about exhale as I punch. So as I punch my arm, blow the air out. Good. Helps increase that circulation. Keep warming up that body. A little off balance there. Good job. One more each side. Fantastic. All right, let's go ahead, grab a drink. And then we're gonna get ready for our first circuit. Once again, if you have um, a band, we're gonna be utilizing it in this um, exercise sequence. The second exercise is a seated row. So you'll be sitting down, putting the band around one foot and we'll be rowing here. Okay, so that will be our second exercise. The first one is gonna be our reverse giant steps. I'm just gonna make sure I can see my feet for a moment. So I start with my feet just in front of my hips and from the side, it looks like this. I take a nice big step back Keep that front heel planted, stepping up, and then switching sides, stepping back, stepping up, stepping back, stepping up. We'll go upwards of a minute. And if anyone's on here that is comfortable with a lunge, you're welcome to do reverse lunges instead of those giant steps. But we're gonna be doing lunges and then we'll take it, or sorry, giant steps. We'll take a seat and do our banded row. If you don't have bands, you can either mimic the motion or if you know like a bent row, you can do a little bit of a bent over position and row with that dumbbell. Okay. All right, folks, we're gonna start here in 10 seconds with those giant steps. We're gonna be doing three rotations. So just follow along best you can. And two, one, here we go. Tall chest, long step back, Driving that front foot up and forward. So chest as tall as you can. You can even reach your arms out if you like, up and forward, alternating your legs. So one foot steps back, stand tall, and then the opposite foot steps back. Good, standing tall, beautiful. Back and up, good job. Long step, front heel pushes into the ground, beautiful. That's our 30 second mark. Back and up. Find a spot straight ahead to look at. And as you come up to standing, squeeze the shoulders, standing tall. Be patient with your balance. 15 seconds left, a couple more each side. Good, back and up, nice and. You got it, one more, back and up, good job. Grab your band if you have it and take a seat. All right, so we move for 60 seconds on that one. This exercise is gonna be for 45 seconds. You can always cut it early if you need. Let's put it around one foot, chest nice and tall. And here we go, squeezing those elbows back and in. Head is neutral, reaching forward and then blow the air out as you pull those elbows behind you. Squeezing between the shoulder blades, reach 
and row. This is a good exercise for our mid back, which is gonna help our posture, keeping us nice and tall. Reach and row, good. That's 30 seconds. You're gonna go about another 15 here. Pause against the torso, reaching forward, back and in. Good job, couple more, reach and squeeze, reach. And let's hold this one, three, two, one, and relax. Very good, go ahead and grab a drink of water, about 30 seconds, and then we'll be back to our giant steps. Nice work. That's set one, we're gonna do it two more times. All right, 10 seconds till we start. Remember on those giant steps, you're gonna have your feet pointing straight ahead, chest nice and tall, and two, one, here we go. Long step back, if you wanna reach those arms out as you step back, and then up and forward. Long step back, front heel planted, up and forward, good, good control, and up, nice. Front shin vertical, heel pushes down, good. Back and up. This is where I like to play make-believe that I'm on the beach, maybe in San Diego or the Outer Banks of North Carolina, and we're pretending that we're trying to make a really big footprint into the sand on that front leg. So we're gripping the toes into the sand, driving our heel nice and deep, and that helps propel us up and forward. Good job, less than 20 seconds here. Keep your hips nice and square. Doing great. And about one more each side. Remember we're alternating legs. Good, long step and stand, beautiful. Back to your chair, or you can always sit on the floor for these seated rows as well. Grab your band if you have it. And if you can notice, or if you can remember, switch the foot that you had the band wrapped around last time. See if you can use the other leg. Go ahead and kind of come to the edge of the chair, but make sure you're firmly planted, chest tall, and here we go. Pulling the elbows in, keeping those shoulders back and down. So avoiding any kind of shrug into the ears. Reaching forward, as you row, turn your palms up towards the ceiling. So as I reach forward, I turn my hands down. And then as I pull them into my body, I turn the palms up. Reach and squeeze. Good. Over and in. Nice. 15 seconds left. And rather than speed here, squeeze at the top of the position. So when those bands and those hands are close to your body, hold that for a good one to two seconds. Last one, two, one, and relax. Beautiful. Short drink of water, and then we're gonna go one more time through that. We'll start in about 20 seconds. As always, if you don't quite feel ready to jump back in, if you want a little longer rest, that's not a problem at all. All right, 10 seconds till we start. Last round through on those giant steps. If you feel stable on those and wanna add a little bit of weight, you can hold a weight right up underneath your chin, okay? But Wanna keep that chest nice and tall and don't feel like you have to. Three, two, one, here we go. Long step back, up and forward. If you're not holding weights, you can reach those arms out just like we did the first two cycles. And only step back as far as you're confident, as far as you keep that front heel planted and chest tall. And bring some awareness to that breathing. So I breathe in as I step back. I exhale as I step forward. Good job, that's our halfway. Looks good. Nice, Laura. 30 seconds more if you wanna join us here, Anne. Good job. Long step back and up and forward. Nice work. Couple more each side. I'm starting to feel the outside of my hips burn a little bit. Those are all your stabilizer muscles. They're working here as we're taking those steps. Last one. And rotating back to our chair for that seated row. 
Nice job. And then once again, if you remember which foot you had the band around last time, let's go ahead and go back to that first foot. Come to the edge of the chair, but make sure your spine is nice and tall. And three, two, one, here we go. Shoulders down, elbows come into the sides, open through the chest. And then remember the position of the hands. So when I row into my body, I'm turning the palms up. As I reach away from my body, I'm turning my palms down to the floor. Squeeze and relax. Breathe. There we go. Over halfway. Fantastic. Let's get about two more. On the last one, we're gonna hold for a good three seconds or so at the back. Reach and in three, two, one, and relax it down. Nice job, everyone. Take it out. You can either stay seated or come to standing. We're gonna do a couple stretches for the upper body before we go into our next piece. All right. We're gonna go our eagle arms. You're welcome to do this standing. I'm just gonna to come to the, a little closer for the moment. You can take your arms off to the side. Let's go your left arm on top, your right arm under, and then you're gonna kind of interlace lace the hands best you can. Push one down, pull one up, and you're just looking to kind of get a little bit of a stretch and opening on the outer part of the shoulder here. Good time to relax the eyes and breathe. Good, one more breath here. And shake it out, make sure you're not gonna swing your arms into anything. And then we'll do the opposite direction next. All right, so let's see, you're gonna bring your left arm under, your right arm on top this time. Yep, and now we're gonna hit this other shoulder. So push one down, pull one up, kind of work it against one another. Just get a nice stretch to the outside of that shoulder. And one more nice deep breath and relax. Good job, shake it out. I was just laughing to myself because I think I talked about the behind the neck stretch or behind the back stretch earlier, but I don't know that we did it or maybe that was the last group. Sorry about that, getting everything a little bit confused. But if we didn't do it before, we're gonna do it now. If you need the band, please feel free to hold this behind you and extend out those elbows. You wanna avoid any arching of the back. So ribs down. If you can interlace the hands, fantastic. Interlace your fingers extend those arms out. Sometimes you'll get some pops and clicks through the elbows and whatnot. Squeeze the shoulders together, hands up, and then you either stay here or walk your feet nice and wide, bounce into those heels so that you're nice and rooted into the floor. And then you can add a forward fold as you'd like, bowing forward, pulling those arms up overhead. A couple of nice deep breaths. So hold the weight in your legs. And then come on up when you're ready. Good job. All right, folks. So we're gonna go through our next sequence. The first exercise, and we're just gonna kind of move through this. I'm gonna show you the movements as we go. The first one, you can either do a side step, okay? Or you have your imaginary hurdle, you do a lateral step over. So you step to the side and stepping over. If you feel a little bit off balance, I recommend the side step. Don't worry too much about the high knee, okay? If you can do the high knee, go ahead and join us. We're gonna go for 30 seconds. Two, one, here we go. Up and over, yeah. As you lift the knee, lift the foot. The whole time through, we're focusing on the shoulders pulled back, keeping that chest tall, fantastic. Good. Yeah. Good focus, nice and smooth. And taking it back. Very good and relax. All right, 
If you have your band, go ahead and grab your band for the next one. Now we're gonna do our pull aparts. So more strengthening for that mid back and that upper back. You're gonna go, go ahead and come with me here. If you don't have a band, just pretend you do. Arms extended out in front of your body. And now you're gonna try to stretch that band apart. Close the hands and open. Good job. Keeping those shoulders down so you're not shrugging into the ears. Close and open. Squeeze. Nice. And engage your lower body as well. So kind of fire the glutes, hold strong. Let's go two more, open and close, open and close. Good job, relax that down. Good mornings are next. If you wanna hold a weight, you can grab a dumbbell or any kind of weight that you have and you can hold it up against your chest. We're doing what we call a good morning. So walk your feet in, toes are gonna to point straight ahead. Bend your knees just a little bit, weight back. And now here we go, we're gonna bow forward like we did in the warm up, bowing forward and then standing tall, fire the glutes. Hinging forward, yep, and stand. That looks fantastic. Long spine, nice flat back and up. That's our halfway, 15 more seconds. And stand, as you bow forward, Think about pulling your chin in towards your chest to keep that head nice and neutral and only go as far as you can keep your back nice and flat. So kind of feel a little bit of a stretch in the hamstrings and then you stand and relax. Great job, that's our first sequence. We're gonna go back to our step overs here in about 15 seconds. So if the water's close by, grab a sip. Going in five, or join us when you're ready. Nice tall chest, arms out, it's kind of like your balance. Two, one, and here we go, up and over, or your sidestep. If you can do that imaginary hurdle, that's fantastic. Breathe and move here. More control of movement than speed of movement. I kind of start to like almost make it a little dance, right? Arms back and forth. Here you go. Smile, have some fun. Couple more. And relax. Nice job. Back to your bands. And I'm just gonna show it as if I don't have a band this time so you can see it's the same idea. So stand tall, reach your arms straight out in front of your body. If you have the band, go ahead and use it. And now pull it apart, good. If I don't have a band, I'm gonna kind of just push the air behind me. Reach in front and then push back. Yeah, reach and push. You don't have quite as much resistance without the band, but you still get the similar benefit of opening that back. Reach and squeeze. Reach and squeeze the chest open. Let's go three more. Good. One. Two, <clears throat> good, and number three. Awesome. Shake that guy out. Back to our good mornings with or without weight. If you're holding a weight, we're gonna bring it right up under the chest. Walk your feet in, toes pointing straight ahead. Bounce into those knees, heels are planted. And then now we're gonna bow forward, hips back, long spine, bow forward. Squeeze the back side to stand. Good job. Hinging over and straight up. Fantastic. Over. Squeeze the bottom. Yep. Hinging over. Standing tall. One more. Long spine. And good morning as we stand. Afternoon for some of you, but hey, good mornings never hurts. All right, everybody, 30 seconds, grab a little bit of drink, and we'll go one more time through back to our lateral steps or step overs. You're doing great. All right, 10 seconds. Oops. So standing nice and tall, shoulders stacked over your feet, pulling the arms back. Two, one, here we go, up and over. Nice. 
We're really focused here as you put your support onto one foot. We don't want to have the hips kick out. So you pull up through your midsection. Right, we're kind of teaching our body, practicing that balance, moving ourselves side to side for a little bit different challenge. Good job. We're almost there. Grip the toes down. Good base of support. Whew. And relax. All right, Bing, grab your band if you have it. Be like those rhythmic gymnasts. Reach those arms nice and long. You ever watch those gymnasts with like the fat, the, they have those big, uh, beautiful, long ribbons, they call them. Arms straight out in front. And here we go. Open the chest, squeeze and reach. And reach, good. Gymnastics is my favorite thing to watch. Not so much the rhythmic, but I like the artistic, the ones that do all the flipping and on the bars and the balance beams. Some people binge watch Netflix. If you look at my YouTube history, if I'm putting something off or wanting to stall time, I'm out online watching Simone Biles doing all of her flips. <laughs> and three, two, one, relax there. Beautiful last round of our good mornings. Anybody else like gymnastics? Just amazing what they can do with their bodies, right? So amazing to watch. Watch, walk your feet in, toes straight ahead. If you wanna use your weight, bring it right underneath your chin. Bend into your knees, bounce into those heels, and then long spine, bowing forward, midline strong, so keep your belly tight, squeeze the glutes. Hips back, looking towards the floor, and standing tall. Good job. This is kind of prepping us for this next round. We're gonna do a little bit of deadlifting in this last section. And sometimes people get freaked out by the word deadlift or they've heard that it's bad for you to do a deadlift. Deadlift is the technical name for simply picking something up off the ground. So we're just kind of practicing how do we bend over and pick something up off the ground. We wanna hinge at the hips and stand. Good job, go ahead and relax there. All right, let's grab a drink. We're gonna do a couple stretches for our back from a seated position, and then we're gonna move into our last circuit. If anyone's kind of tired today, maybe you didn't sleep very well last night, or you're feeling a little bit run down, give yourself permission. Don't feel like you have to do the full hour if you need a break. But hey, if you're feeling good, feel like you've got another 15 minutes or so in you, then stay with us. With your feet planted on the ground, you're gonna take your left hand to your right thigh and then your right hand to your right shoulder. You're gonna use this hand here to kind of pull yourself around here over your right shoulder. And now we're gonna circle your elbow up and around, back and down about 10 times. So feel the shoulder blade, try to move it up and down that rib cage. Get a good circular motion. and go ahead and relax. Same thing, other side. Your right hand this time, the left thigh, pull yourself around, left hand to your left shoulder, and here we go, up and around, here and down. Good job. Breathe. and relax, fantastic. From here, just kind of bring your arms up. We call these the I Dream of Genie arms. And now we're just gonna kind of pivot ourselves around, turn to one side and turn to the other, side to side. Fantastic. One more time each. And now that you've done some rotation, you can either keep the hands here or you can bring them up. And now we're gonna bend to the side, good. Back to center and bend to the other side. Fantastic. I feel like we're like at a concert. <laughs> Eat a little like light in our hand or something. I don't know. <laughs> Sway into the beats. <laughs> Fantastic. All right, shake those arms out. All right, folks. So this next round, <clears throat> I'm just gonna kind of lead you through it on that first round, kind of talking you through what we're doing. But the first thing I want us to do is they want us to warm up for a squat. So you can use your chair as needed where you kind of sit back and then stand. We call it a sit stand. 
my feet are hip width apart and I want to show you my toes. I have just a little bit of a toe out, right? So instead of being straight on, I'm just going to gently turn the toes slightly out. That's going to help my hips to open a little bit more as I'm doing that squat. So the best you can, if you are able, grab onto like a countertop or the side of a chair, something sturdy, place your feet in that squatting position. And now you're going to send your hips back, push your knees out and just come down as far as you're confident, keeping your heels planted and then pull yourself back up to the top. Again, sitting back, pushing your knees out, heels planted and pull yourself up to the top. Fantastic. All right. So the first exercise is going to be the deadlift. So just kind of follow along with me. I'm going to talk you through it as we go. Some of you already know it. You can hold weight if you'd like. I'm just going to hold one here, just nice and vertical. And I'm going to walk my feet out nice and wide, long spine. And then here we go. We're going to send the hips back just like our good morning and take that weight right about like you're trying to touch your ankles or right below near the ankles. And if you know that it's hard to touch your toes, then don't feel like you have to go all the way down. Squeeze your butt as you stand, send the hips back, bowing forward, straight up and over, straight up and over. Last one. All right, feel free to set that weight down. We're gonna go into our squats next. I'm gonna show the sit stand on the first one, our first cycle. So place your feet a little wider than that deadlift. Nice tall chest. And then here we go, either your regular squat or sitting back to the chair. Try to just control down and stand. Nice and controlled, sitting the hips back, push through your heels and stand. Excellent. Sitting back. Yep. And up. Beautiful. Back. And up. Let's go one more here. Good control. Heels planted and stand. Awesome job. All right. There's one more exercise in this sequence, and that's our plank. We want to elevate the hands. <clears throat> So either on the side of a countertop, the seat of the chair, just make sure it's stable. Place those hands right underneath the shoulders. You're going to walk your feet back and now send your hips high. We don't want to let that back arch. So nice and strong, looking right between the hands. And breathe here. Very good. Keep pulling that belly button in. Hold that chin neutral, look right between the hands. We're gonna go 10 more seconds. If you need to step it out sooner, then come on up. And three, two, one, and relax. Very good. That's cycle one. We're gonna do that three more times. If you wanna join us for all of them, we're gonna go back to those deadlifts next. And I'm gonna show the squats without the chair this round. All right, you wanna place your weight on the floor, you can, make sure it's in good position. Remember, feet are nice and wide, standing tall. I can put my head back in it. <laughs> All right, so standing tall, three, two, one, here we go. Send the hips back, pick up your weights, and then squeeze the glutes as you stand. Over and down, and straight up, good job. Activate your upper body, squeeze those shoulder blades back so you kind of keep the upper body tight. And that's gonna help you keep that weight close as well so it doesn't go swinging out. Fantastic. A few more, over and up. Send those hips back, over and up. Good job, one more. Control on the down, pushing your knees out and straight up, fantastic. Moving into those squats next. So you can go back to the chair or unassisted. Either way, you're gonna have your feet about hip width apart. And remember, now we're gonna turn those toes out just a little bit. If you're with me here, reach those arms out as you send your hips back, coming down as far as you're confident or onto your chair, standing tall, sinking back, chest up, reach and stand. Beautiful, control, keep those heels pushing down and stand, couple more, back, 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 and up, beautiful, last time, back, 
and up. Fantastic. 30 second break. And then we'll start set three of four. Good time for some water. And we'll be back to our deadlifts. And anytime you need to take a round off, that's not a problem. Just take a round off, give yourself permission. 10 seconds if you're with us. Feet about hip width apart, tall spine. Two, one, and here we go. Chin in, straight up and down. Breathe. Good. Over and up. Over and up. Fantastic. Go two to three more. Midline strong, keep that core tight. Over, up, and down. Fantastic. Go into our squats next. I'm gonna demo back on the chair. And this is a good time too. You can either go unassisted or if you're starting to build some confidence with this movement, you can hold a weight right underneath your chin. So place those feet down, slight toe out, and here we go. Push into your feet and stand. Sitting in the back, good control, and then drive and stand. Nice. Yep, if you don't have the weight, just reach those arms out as that counterbalance. And up, sitting back. Fantastic, two to three more. Keep those knees pushing wide. And last one, up and done. Beautiful. And now onto the plank. Place the chair. Oops, watch your weights. Don't put any tripping hazards out for yourself. So walk a couple feet behind your chair, your countertop, place the hands, walk the feet into position, keeping your feet about hip width apart. And here we go. Try to shift your weight forward so that your hands or your arms are holding a lot of your weight. And then we're avoiding that hip forward. So hips up, keep your belly tight. And then just try to watch right between your hands. Breathe. Fantastic. And then if you tend to be hypermobile in those elbows, don't lock them out. Keep a little bend of the elbows. Almost there. And two, one, and rest. Walk it in. Good job, folks. All right, crew, we're going to go one more time through for our fourth round. If you're like, hey, I am done for the day. My body says enough. Respect your body. If you're feeling good, we're going to get started here back with those deadlifts in 10 seconds. So no problem if you need more time. I'm going to go unassisted with the squats this round, but first the deadlifts. Place your feet about just outside the hips, standing tall. Send those hips back, chin in, and here we go. Squeeze the glutes to stand. Long spine, knees push wide. Straight up and over down. Fantastic. Good job. Give a good smile when you're standing tall, looking straight ahead, over down, and straight up. Good focus. And one more. Control and stand. Fantastic. We're going to go to the squats next. Um, either unassisted or to the chair. I'm going to show like, a little bit of weight. So again, I'm going to hold the weight underneath my chin, but feel free to just keep doing what you've been doing. Set those feet, two, one, and here we go. Chest up, knees wide. It's nice and smooth. Good focus, control, and stand. Awesome. Last time through with our squats today, everybody. Want to keep ourselves able confident, independent, back and up. Let's go two more. Good focus. Knees wide, heels down. Fantastic. Last one if you're with me. Over and up. Beautiful. Just our plank to finish. Way to hang in there. Set your weights down if you're using them. And I'm going to show it from the couch this time for a little variety. I'm going to place the hands on the side, walk the feet back, and three, 
two, one, here we go. As much as you can, weight in the arms. Hips stay up like you're trying to keep them right in line with your shoulders. And breathe. If you tend to get uncomfortable in the wrist, try to shift your weight so that you hold more into the palm of your hand. Gripping your fingers down. We have arches in our hand, just like our feet. We just don't hear that much about them. We're almost there. Three, two, one, and walk it in. Good job. All right, go ahead and give yourself a round of applause. Great job. We did it. A little bit fitter than we started. All right, folks, we're gonna do a couple cool down stretches. This first one can be kind of challenging. Um, sometimes you don't have that mobility to be able to grab the foot. If you can't quite grab your foot, go back to the stretch that we did earlier in the class where you had both feet planted and you kind of turn and look over one shoulder, all right? If you can grab your foot, then we're gonna balance as needed. I'm just supporting on the wall here to grab that foot and pull that heel towards the glute. So stretching the quad, especially after those squats we did, even if you were going to the chair, you're really kind of working your thighs, the front side of the thighs mostly, trying to sit down a little bit under control. So you wanna stretch those guys out. Two, one, and relax. Very good. And then same thing, other side. Balance as needed. Lifting up through the core, try to grab that foot as able. And it's totally okay if you can't get that foot, just do the best you can. Breathe. Nice and relaxed. And go ahead and bring that down, shake it out. Fantastic. Let's go ahead and take a seat. All right. So sitting tall, we're gonna kind of come to the edge of the chair. Let's have your left foot planted on the floor. Take your right foot, extend it out, heel down. And then nice and long, just take your hands, kind of slide down the legs, just until you get a little bit of stretch in the back of the hamstring. So when you feel a stretch, just stay there and breathe. And if you feel like you can get a little bit farther as you're stretching here, you can just slide down, reaching towards your ankles. A couple more breaths. And sometimes you feel this in your hamstrings and now I'm starting to feel a little bit in my back. So that's normal if you feel it there. And then come on up when you're ready. Same thing, other side. Heel down, other leg extends. Take the hands, slide them down, reach in for the ankles. And be patient here. I know it's really easy to kind of get critical of ourselves. You're like, man, this is only the far I can go or whatever we say. But hey, you're doing your best, moving your body. Take one more breath here. And relax, fantastic. Go ahead and come on up. We're gonna go another stretch here. This time I'm gonna get some rotation through our torso. So sitting tall, take one hand behind the head. Hand behind the head, then take that elbow down and like as if you're trying to touch your opposite thigh. Then you're gonna sit tall and turn your body like you're trying to look over that shoulder. We're gonna do that five times. Elbow to the opposite thigh, sit tall and rotate. I even use my hand on the inner thigh here just to give a little push down and up and pivot. Last time, down, sit tall, pivot. One more for good measure. I'm not sure if that was four or five. Good job. Same thing, other arm. Hand behind the head, elbow to the opposite thigh, peering over that shoulder. Some rotation for the back, shoulders. Breathe. Good job. Couple more. Down and up. And last one. Down and up. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for being here today. 
those of you that are here live, so thanks for taking some time on your Saturday to come and move your body. And we will be back to our regular hours next week, starting on Monday. So hope to see you there. Stay healthy.